Wholesome Words, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 4, talking about our communication. It says, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life. And the opposite of that is perverseness of the spirit. It's a rupture, a, a breakup of your life. If you want to wreck your life, just let your tongue say whatever comes to it. If you want to be, have a blessed life, a great life, a dynamic life, <clears throat> refrain your tongue from evil, as First Peter says. We, or set a watch. ask God to set a watch over your mouth like David says in Psalms. Listen to this little poem somebody posted today. I don't know who posted it, but thank you, whoever you are. A careless word may kindle strife. A cruel word may wreck a life. A bitter word may hate and still. A brutal, brutal word may smite and kill. A gracious word may smooth the way. A joyous word may light the day. A timely word may lessen stress. A loving word may heal and bless. Your tongue's got power in it. Boy, use it wisely. With great power comes great responsibility, according to Spider-Man. And I think that's absolutely true in all areas of life. If God has given you something that has supernatural power to it, it would be wise of you to train that tongue to use wholesome words. Words that build up, not destroy. Words that lift and not, not wound. We can do better. This Our whole culture has grown so coarse where it just says the ugliest things and and speaks the, the, the basest things. Wouldn't it be good if we used our tongues to speak beauty, to speak truth, to speak godliness, to speak joy, to speak life, to speak blessing? Oh, man, I mean, what kind of change could we see if we could just stop talking trash? Dear Lord God, I pray that you'd be with my dear friends, my loved ones. I pray that you'd bless them. Help them to have a great night, God. Bless them. Give them supernatural strength. May your face shine upon them and may you lead them into paths of righteousness for your name's sake. God, set a watch over all our mouths. Help us to refrain our tongue from evil. Let us speak words that are wholesome and full of blessing and life. Thank you, God, for giving us this gift of speech. Help us to use it wisely and well. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.